Finally, we have this Uber. In the end, flying for 15 hours is really exhausting. Soon, I will be able to lie on my bed as soon as possible, as much as I want. Honestly, we haven't had dinner yet until now during our journey to Liverpool. But you don't to be as scary as Luis Suarez. Hi guys, I'm Yudo, I'm 27 years old and come from Indonesia. This year I will start my long journey as a master student in film at LJMU and hopefully this won't be as long as LFC wins the EPL. Before I left, I thought that in the UK, all people are normal and there was nothing strange on the streets. But it turns out that when I arrived, it wasn't much different from Indonesia. Whereas, I tried my best to teach my wife not to commit a traffic violation. Darling, we are now in the UK and everyone here follows the rules and doesn't harm others. So, if you want to go there, across the street, you have to go there, not here, you know? <laughs> and second one, if you ride a bike or scooter in here, everyone is wearing a helmet, absolutely because it's dangerous. Unlike in Indonesia, everyone wear helmets only when the police are around them. Look, I think something like this is only exist in Indonesia. Because if you are on the pedestrians, your gaze should be directed forward. You don't need to be too busy playing with your phone. <laughs> Whatever. She doesn't understand English anyway. At least she doesn't know anything about what I've just said. Hi everyone. I'm Nina, uh, I'm Yudo's wife, I'm living with a dependent student visa, this is my first time abroad. Uh, ngomong apa lagi ya? Hey, yang pakai bahasa Indonesia, ini kan kita lagi di Inggris, jadi harus pakai bahasa Inggris dong. Ya mau gimana, aku kan gak jago bahasa Inggris, bisa ke Inggris tanpa harus bisa bahasanya aja udah bersyukur banget. For your information, my wife cannot speak English very well. Therefore, wherever she goes, she has to be with me. Like when we go to the supermarket. Finally, our daily life as Kausa starts today. It's time to go to shopping now. Yeah, and katanya di sini ada yang jual Indomie tau. Kita kita kan orang Indonesia. Kita harus beli Indomie nih. Harusnya sih ada ya. Cuma kita nggak tahu nih di rak yang sebelah mana. Aku cari ke sana ya. Nah dulu, mendingan barang-barang aja daripada nanti niatnya nyari Indomie jadi nyari yang lain. Sebenarnya aku juga nggak apa-apa tau belanja sendiri. Walaupun aku gak jago bahasa Inggris, aku tahu bentuk-bentuk bahan makanan yang mau aku beli. Kalau nggak nemu, aku cari aja yang bentuknya mirip. Barangkali rasanya sama. Lagi pula, aku gak bakal nyasar kok.
Ini gimana ya? Persen tadi nyari bawang, tapi kok ke tempat roti? Bawang merah di mana ya? Masa di Liverpool nggak ada bawang merah? Apa ini ya bawang merah? Red kan merah. Onion bawang. Iya, kayaknya ini bawang merah. Tapi bentuknya lebih besar. Apa beli ini aja ya? Harganya juga murah. Beli ini aja lah. Mas Yudo juga nggak bakal tahu. Roti dikasih garam juga dimakan sama dia. Eh, hey, ketemu juga nih Domi. Hmm. Ada di bagian World Food tuh di sebelah sono. Hmm. Murah pula harganya. Hmm. Kamu beli sayur apa nih? Uh, ada deh. Lihat aja nanti. Apparently, Marvel has limited English. But, she can be independent and thoughtful when choosing ingredients. No doubt. And, I can't wait to eat the first dish from her. For sure. Finally, our first day in Liverpool is done. Hmm. What do you think? Um, sensational. Ternyata tinggal di Liverpool sama aja kayak tinggal di Jakarta ya. Mm -mm. Pas tadi nyebrang juga banyak banget yang ini kan. Coba menantang malaikat maut. <laughs> di supermarket itu juga tadi gampang banget kan cari bahan-bahannya. Mm. Aku kira bakal susah terus mahal. Mm -mm. Nah, tadi pas di perjalanan juga ada aja tuh yang tutup mulut pakai masker gitu. Sama kayak di Indonesia. Iya, di Indonesia mah tutup mulut bukan karena sakit. Tapi karena nggak mau disalahin. Kalau ada komet jatuh gara-gara nggak -gara ngejaga iklim juga pada tutup mulut. 